Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're doing well. I want to do a quick product review today. Have you ever heard of Noggin Rockers? I hadn't. Up until a couple of weeks ago when uh, somebody left a comment on one of my videos, specifically the one where I had reviewed one of the AM Plux uh, Vox Mini Guitar Amps. And he said, hey, would you mind checking out my product from Noggin Rockers? which is a electricity-free guitar amplifier. I don't know if that was a good description, but the whole concept, the whole point of this guitar amp is it doesn't need batteries and it doesn't need any kind of electricity. And that's really an interesting concept. So what I want to do now is kind of do a two-fold review real quickly. I'm going to spend one minute to just explain a little bit more the features and the purpose of the product and how to use it. And then we go downstairs to my office where I put up a little contraption because what I wanna do is I wanna give you a sound sample. Uh, so you get an idea of the really remarkably great sound quality of the Noggin Rockers guitar amplifier because I was actually very surprised. Um, now let's look at the device first a little bit and, and let me just spend a minute here uh, to show you how it looks like, how it works in concept and all that. So it comes in this package and you will see pictures of that on my website. There's a link here somewhere. I encourage you to go over and, and read up on the details and, and educate yourself on technical details, purchasing information and all that. But I just want to show you real quickly. So this is the package and this is the product. So it resembles the look and feel of a stethoscope when you go to your general practitioner to get your yearly checkup hopefully so um the doctor will come the doctor will probably have some of those and check your heart and whatever lung function whatsoever and the same concept uh, was used for this guitar amp so you see this is, if you will, the microphone, for the lack of the better term. There is some Velcro padding here. This is where you connect, for the lack of the better term, and I'll show you that in detail. Um, the amp to the guitar, and where you, where on your guitar you connect this, this part to, plays a huge role in terms of sound in terms of sound that you get from your guitar. Again, I'll show you that in, in a second, but this goes to the guitar. This is just a regular plastic tubing and here are two, two earbuds. The earbuds go into your ears and this part goes on your guitar and then you're good to go. So the earbuds, as you can see, have been improved just recently when I ordered the device. It came with these earbuds, and I, I'm not sure, I hope you can see that on camera, but um, they were okay, they actually worked okay for me, but every now and then I had a hard time with them, making sure that they would stick um, in my ears, so now they are improved, they have a little bit of a, so they have a little bit of texture here for the lack of the better term, that prevents that prevents the earbud from, from just slipping out of your ear, so, so very well done. All right, so I think you get the concept. Now let's go downstairs to give you an idea how the thing sounds in practice. Hey guys, so we're now in my little um, office down here. And let me just briefly explain my contraption that I put together for you. The purpose is now to give you an idea um, as authentic as possible relative to the sound quality of the Knock and Rockers guitar amplifier or, or amplifier because it's not just for guitars, you can put it on bass or any kind of string instrument. Therefore, um, what I try to do is put something together where I can somehow mic the sound that comes from the guitar through the air tubing to your ears. So pretend that the mic would be typically your ears. You would obviously put the, the either one of the air tubings into your ears with the earbuds that I removed for the purposes of this demonstration, you will obviously have them connected to the to the tubing and then put them in your ears. And again, the reason why I have two different sets of earbuds is this is what the device came with, but these are optimized earbuds. Um, they are further improved and again, they work extremely well so you don't have to worry that they slip out of your ears. So again, this is the tubing 
and this is the other side of the of the tube which obviously goes on your guitar now the question is where on your guitar there are there, you can really put it anywhere you want there are some spots that I find work better than others a good spot in general seems to be right here so where the fretboard meets the body of your guitar on the back side so that's that's a good spot I also found this spot right here I hope you can see it on camera the light is a little bad and it's it's white um, that's a good spot the only problem is it can get in the way if you play in or around the 12th fret the best spot though by far for me personally and it depends on the instrument obviously is right here so this is actually what I would like to use for the purposes of this demonstration because it gives me the loudest and best signal and uh, again it's not going to be a hundred percent perfect there's just no way for me to kind of to to get it a hundred percent right because here i just taped i just taped the, the air tubing directly onto the microphone so this is not optimal but i think you'll get a good idea so now you got to be careful because what i'm about to do and that's actually very important I'm gonna, with the Velcro pads, just connect this part right here, but it makes a lot of sound. It's like, imagine your doctor having a stethoscope and you, and you knock on it. Let me just do it, but be careful with your ears. No worries, I'm gonna reduce the volume a little bit. But you hear that, right? So now, imagine this noise. So you see, I put it on, take it off. If you have, if you forget to take your earplugs out before you, before you remove this part, it makes quite, it makes quite some noise and it's not very pleasant to the ears. So please take the ear, so take the tubing out of your ears before you change the position of the act of the microphone for the lack of the better term. Now I also told you that you can change the tone and volume by just turning this part here to you can either loosen it or tighten it so if I turn it in counterclockwise direction I loosen it or or clockwise I tighten it to change the tone and the volume I find the volume control is a little bit hard you pretty much get what you you get what you get there's not much you can do but the tone does get impacted depending on where you dial this part to. But now I, I have it right now relatively tight, not too tight. I'm just putting it on my guitar here. And now what I wanna do is I wanna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around now because what I pr wanna try to prevent is that the microphone picks up the string noise that I'm about to produce. And I wanna make sure that you only get the sound that comes actually through the, through the tubing, which should be the equivalent of what you get straight into your ear. So let me just turn around here a little bit. I gotta be careful because obviously there are limits to the, to the tubing. So what I want to do now real quickly is I'm going to play a little bit without the knock and rockers or any amplification. So you just get the regular, so you just get the regular room sound, so to speak. And again, I'm going to turn around a little bit because I want to make sure that we have the same kind of setup for comparison purposes.
So again, I know the audio demonstration was not perfect because technically it was just very challenging to essentially, so you see, I, rem I still have the earbuds removed because I had those two parts taped to the microphone, which is not ideal. The sound quality is actually much better and also it's louder what my video demonstration suggests. So in actuality, it's, it's louder and the sound quality is better. But nonetheless, I still, hopefully I was able to give you at least an idea of what you can expect. What I wanna really do, what I wanna do real quickly is just so, just so I don't forget to mention any of the key points, let me just recap some of the key features because I believe that will, that may also answer some of the questions that you may have. So you can play it anywhere, anytime, because you don't require power. You don't need batteries or, or any electricity for that matter, which is obviously a huge plus. It works on any string instrument. So it's not just guitars, it's also bass, violins, whatever you can th think of. It's great for guitar lessons, personal practice, playing along with instructional DVDs, precision tuning, unplugged. You should, when you get the device and take it out of the box, it's all kind of wound up like this, right? So in order to uncoil it, they suggest to use a hairdryer for a few minutes on the plastic tubing to uncoil it and straighten it out, which is recommended. Now, as you can imagine by just looking at me, I don't have a hairdryer, but fortunately enough, I have two daughters and a wife. so plenty of opportunity to get my hands on hair dryers and any other hair products, even though I don't need them. But all kidding aside, $17.95 is the price point for the Knock and Rockers guitar amplifier. Now, I know some of you may say, why would I get this over, for example, the Vox AM plug? Well, you're comparing apples with oranges because the Vox AM plug or AM plug, which is the proper term, so I learned, um, is obviously two or three times as expensive compared to this device. So it's really not it's really not a fair comparison. I do acknowledge, obviously, that with um, other guitar amplifiers that require electricity or batteries, you probably have more features and more options available to you. But they all require batteries or some some form of electricity and neither of which is required with the guitar, with the amplifier from Knock and Rockers. And that's the whole point. Again, under, under 20 bucks, I believe for what you get in terms of product value is more than reasonable. And if you for yourself don't need or want the Knock and Rockers, I think it makes a fantastic guitar gift. I'm sure you have guitar buddies. I'm sure you have people you know who play guitar I'm always looking for guitar for some sort of guitar gifts but what do you give somebody who already has a guitar and amplifiers and all the accessories well that it might be something that might be actually a really cool idea that that person if not you may really appreciate I certainly appreciated it it comes highly recommended check it out here's a link to my website with more details purchasing information frequently asked questions answered and all that. So again, check out my website, check out the article with links over to Knock and Rockers and anything else you need to know, that's it for today. I hope, I hope it was helpful as usual. Leave a like, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Till then, bye-bye.